Last night I started on a braised pulled chicken. It was chicken legs with the meat on, skin on, because at that time I was trying to decide whether or not I was going to do a chicken pot pie or a chicken and dumplings. Well, while waiting on the broth to boil, I went to the grocery store. And at the grocery store, I bought fresh pork tenderloin and some stuff to bake scallop potatoes. And we had something completely different last night. And now I'm stuck with this gelatinous pre-chicken broth. Now, I like it actually at this gelatinous phase because the way I cook my chicken stock down, I almost get it to like this perfect chicken jelly. And so it's getting to the process that I like. Uh, what I am about to do though is scrape this layer of chicken fat, this fat off the top, because you really don't want that in your food. It's not healthy. Uh, I believe that stuff is called the de pommier. Chefs, you can fact check me on that one. It's French. I think it's spelled de pommier. But I'm about to take care of that step and show you the fat removed. I went ahead and picked out the skin while it was cold and just because I wanted you to see it all together. Like, remember to take this part out, okay? Um, the skin is all fat. Yeah, it's flavor. It's the best part about fried chicken is the skin. But look at that, okay? Let's give that out. Once I got the chicken broth back on and coming up to temp, I noticed that there really wasn't enough fat to worry about going through the skimming step. So I went ahead and added in my mirepoix. The one thing also that I wanna to talk to you about is once you get it up to temp, do you boil your stock? No, don't have it on a raging rolling boil like you're boiling pasta. This is just for clarity's sake. All right, let me tell you guys why I don't use carrots in my stock. Uh, first of all, it's a personal preference. I don't like the flavor of carrots, um, especially raw carrot. Um, and even in the stock, that carrot flavor to me is overwhelming. I can always taste the carrot in the stock. Uh, number two, because of the beta carotene in the carrots, and it's that orange color. Uh, that orange color is going to leak out. And I like a nice clear stock because if I'm making a, um, a clearer sauce, a whiter sauce, I don't want that kind of orangey color. I don't, I don't want orange chicken stock um, or I don't want orange vegetable stock. Um, I do actually put the carrots in beef stock because that is actually the one thing that beef and carrots, yes, they go together. I will eat carrots right next to beef. Um, but as far as my veggie stock, my chicken stock, no, I don't put carrots in there just because of the carrot flavor and the carrot color. Um, I, like a, I like a nice, clean, white, neutral, neutral stock for that. It's, that's a personal preference. I know some chefs are probably going to look at me making a stock, because I am making a stock, um, and say, oh, she forgot the carrots. I did. Um, and uh, also, one trick, though, I have seen, and I'm going to give the credit to Chef Dan, uh, because Chef Dan taught me basic. And usually beyond basic, we didn't make stock in school, not unless you were making a special sauce for yourself. Like, um, the basic kids make stock, and you just use the stock in the walk-in. Um, so, um, what was I going to say? Oh, like I was saying, anybody can make stock. So, as far as store-bought stocks, um, Swanson actually makes a really good one. Uh, great value. Walmart has a low-sodium stock that I like to use, and I just add flavor to it. I mean, why? Stock is the bottom layer of flavor. So, and which is also quite important, but anybody can boil the bones and add the celery, garlic, onions, uh, vegetables, herbs, I mean, herbs, whatever. So, but um, off on a tangent, but uh, that's why I don't use carrots in my stock. Uh, the flavor is too much for me. It, it, it Everything gonna taste like carrots and the color. I don't want an orange stock. 